In this video, we're going to look at how to encode HTML with JavaScript. So let's first of all just clarify what we mean by encoding. We don't mean to encrypt it using an encryption algorithm, so any of your code's unreadable for the user. We're actually allowing HTML entities like the less than and greater than tag that you find in all HTML tags to be literally displayed within your page. So here I've got an element on the page with an ID of container, so let's add some HTML into this. And as expected, within the container, we've got a heading level one tag with some text inside it. But if we actually wanted to display the h1 tag itself on the page, then we'd need to convert the less than and greater than symbols into their HTML entities. So that's all fine for a one-off example of a string, but what if we wanted to use our JavaScript code to do this automatically for us? Well, we could loop through the string and check if there are any of these HTML tags inside of our string, and then possibly use if statements or a lookup table to convert them into the appropriate entity. But what we can actually do is use a bit of pattern matching to convert these special characters into their HTML entities. So what this function will do is match any of those special symbols by looking at the Unicode table to see if the character fits within a specific range, and if it does match it will run the function as the second argument, which literally just grabs the char code number from the matched string and converts it into the HTML entity, but instead of using the letters like LT and GT, it will use a hash and the numerical value that's been found. So let's test it out by updating our container. Oh, and I didn't close the span tag properly there, but it doesn't matter, you can see that some of the characters have been converted into those numerical HTML entity codes. So you can run this function on any text that you come across, so for example if the user's entered some text and you want to convert it into the HTML entities before sending it to the back-end part of your application, it can be really useful because some users try and send malicious code with a script tag within their user input, so catching it here or on the back-end can help cut down on security issues within your application. It's probably worth saying as well, if you have got some text that has some HTML tags already inside it, and you just want to display those tags to the user, when you're actually updating an element in the document, instead of using the inner HTML function, use the inner text function, and the special characters will automatically be converted for you. So there you have two ways that you can encode HTML with your JavaScript code. I'll put a link to that encode HTML function within the description below, so if you want to go and try that out in your browser, you can copy it and give it a go.